Can you, can you explain the scene of the post game locker room? Uh, it's the championship atmosphere in there. Like, this is like the closest thing we're gonna get to like competing as far as like postseason. So we just gonna like enjoy every moment. Of victory. We treat we treat everyone like that too. It's like anyone we can get is good. I know you guys came in thinking you're gonna win, but like, how big of a did a task did you think this would be against a Big Ten team? Uh, well, we got pounded by Maine, so we were just trying to fix all the stuff like on defense, and then we were just trying to hang in it. That's about it. Uh, I, th I just think we know we can compete, and literally when we go out and we follow all our zone slides and just like we just follow it, we just stick to the blueprint. So I just think that we'll we'll stick it. Like we'll be in with any team. You. You know, they, they tried to come back in the second half on a couple occasions. I think they took a five-point lead twice, but you guys just kept coming back. What was uh, behind that relentlessness? Uh, it's, it's literally practice. Like, you can't really have too many breakdowns in practice. We got to stay focused and stay locked in. Um, literally, all the, all the stuff that we run in practice, we literally ran down the stretch, and, like, we literally was patient with everything, and, and it helped us in the run. So, uh, Coach, we all heard him running, screaming, and I told you, and then the door closes on us. Are there any other stories that happened in there? No, I heard there was a water cooler. No, no water cooler. Oh, like the that. water cooler coming for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Coach mentioned that yesterday after, after the main game, you had, you had an aired out film session. Can you explain, you know, what, what conversations you guys had to mentally prepare for this? Um, I guess you could say our first D1 game, like, everybody know about the size difference. So, literally, we, we saw on film, like, we, we couldn't realize it right then and there, but, like, we saw on film, they was big, so, like, they kind of, like, dragged us out of, like, what we normally do. And literally, like, we watched film and we fixed every little key. Yeah, we, we stay in the, our ring. So, we got to stay in the three-point line, make sure just everything we got to hit hard. That's about it. What was it like just walking into a Big Ten gym? This, this this gym is like completely different from what we ever played. Yeah, yeah. What's so the biggest difference? Literally, like I guess you could say the capacity, but definitely just knowing that like this is like a tour an NCAA tournament team. Like we like we like we excited to play against like some great competition and compete against great competition. Yeah, and the background too. We have a wall like five feet behind our hoop, and then you see hundreds of people behind it's kind of crazy too so we got to adjust and it's just shooting for the game on I really mean this it, was that the best shooting game of your entire basketball career probably one of one of yeah yeah definitely what, what, what's like let me ask you this question what did you think of his shooting performance it was great literally like we've been fighting over him not shooting the ball enough and literally like yeah. I think I think right after shooting around I was like joking with him I'm like yo six threes today he was like he was like nah like 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 I got it. I'm like, nah, we're going to get you six threes today. And he was like, all right, bet. And literally, like, this is literally what he do. So, like, he came out with the confidence. And literally, yeah. confidence breeds the performance he just had. You had the little dance after that one three. What was that was when you knew you were clicking? I don't even remember me dancing at all. But I don't know. I just keep shooting. I don't really think about it. Can't think too much.